Thank you for visiting the Sodium Dental YouTube page. In today's video, we are going to cover how to install the Kodak RVG 6100 dental x-ray sensor onto a Windows 7 machine and how to integrate it into the Aptrix x-ray vision imaging software. The first step that we need to take is to go to the carestreamdental.com website. On the main page here, we want to hover our mouse over the support button, go all the way down to drivers and software updates. Once on this page, you will see a group of links that we can click on. We want Twain drivers. So click on Twain drivers. On this page here, we see a list of drivers that we can download. We want the RVG 6500 slash 6200 slash 6100 slash 5100 drivers. Click that link. It will prompt you to choose a download location. We want to choose a location that is convenient. The desktop would be great. So click on desktop and then click save. It is a fairly large file, so it may take five to 10 minutes to download depending on your internet connection. So the first step that we're going to take is to double click the setup RVG and then inside this folder, we'll double click set up RVG once more. This will open up the RVG Twain driver package. We'll select our language and click OK. Once open, we can click Next. And then we want to select the drivers that we are interested in. We do want the RVG 5000 slash 5100 slash 6000 slash 6100 selected. And we also want the Twain RVG driver to be selected. We can click install. At this point, Windows security may prompt you whether or not you want to install the CareStream software. Go ahead and click install. Again, we will click install. Now that the installation has completed, we can click finish. We can go ahead and close out our RVG folder. At this point, we can plug our Kodak RVG 6100 digital x-ray sensor into the USB port on our computer to install the drivers into our Windows 7 software. Once plugged in, we'll see in the bottom right corner that Windows is installing the device driver software. Once Windows says our device is ready to use, we can just confirm installation by clicking the Start button, hovering our mouse over Computer, right-clicking, and then clicking on Manage. This will open our Computer Management Console. We can select Device Manager, and then we just need to look under Sound, Video, and Game Controllers, and we'll see our RVG drivers are right here. So this tells us that our sensor is installed correctly to Windows, and at this point, we need to integrate the Kodak sensor into X-ray Vision. In order to do this, we need to open up a web browser and go to the Aptrix website. Once on the Aptrix website, we can click on Updates. Once on this page, we can scroll down and we can click C for CareStream, since Kodak is actually under the CareStream name now. That will bring us down here and we see a list of updaters for CareStream products. We want to look through here, and then down here near the bottom, we'll see RVG Intraoral Sensor Update. We just click on that link to the right. This will download the Kodak Upgrader to our computer. Should be a pretty quick download as the file is fairly small. Now before we run the Kodak Updater for the X-ray Vision software, we do need to make sure that X-ray Vision is closed on all workstations. So you'll want to go around to all of your workstations as well as your data server and just make sure that X-ray Vision is closed. Once you've confirmed X-ray Vision is closed, we can go ahead and double click the upgrader and run it. Click Next and this will add all of the files that we need 
for our Kodak sensor to work in X-ray vision. As you can see, four files successfully upgraded, no errors, all in green. If this does show an error present, it is more than likely because X-ray vision is open on another workstation. Simply close out of the Kodak updater and go around to your workstations and server again and just verify that X-ray vision is closed on all machines. At this point, we can click finish. Okay, now that we have configured a layout to be used with our Kodak X-ray sensors in X-ray vision, we can go ahead and open up X-ray vision and give it a test to make sure that our sensor is working correctly. So we'll just double click X-ray vision, go ahead and run it. Once X-ray vision opens, we'll need to open a patient. So we'll open our test patient. Now that we have our test patient open, we can go ahead and click on the FMX 18 Kodak layout that we created in the last video. If you haven't done this yet, just click on the link below and it will take you over to our other video to show you how to modify and customize a layout and then add it to the custom toolbar for easier use later. So we'll go ahead and click on our FMX 18 Kodak layout. It will open up the Kodak layout that we created, automatically begin image acquisition for the Kodak sensor. And at this point, we can go ahead and take our x-rays and shoot a full mouth series automatically going through each tile. And then once we are complete with testing, we can just click the X up here in the RBG acquisition window to close out of the sensor. Click quit, click done. And we have now installed the Kodak RVG 6100 sensor into Windows. We have integrated it into the X-ray vision imaging software. We have our custom Kodak compatible image layout for X-ray vision. And we've tested to confirm that the Kodak RVG 6100 sensor does in fact work in our X-ray vision software. At this point, you can move forward with doing this to all the workstations in your practice. Of course, if you need any assistance or if you have any issues doing the steps in this video, feel free to give us a call, 1-800-821-8962. You can send us an email, support at sodiumdental.com, or you can just visit our website and speak to one of our technical support representatives via the online chat on our website. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of our videos.